going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a seamless, sort of a seamless transition without any plugins and without actually using transitions that are made in Final Cut Pro 10. So how do you do that then? Well, it's actually really easy. The only thing you need is, of course, a camera. Let's say, so we're going to take this video, for example, and I already showed you guys in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to show you guys this video once again. So I'm going to push play. And you can see how I'm reaching for the camera, all right? And the next shot is a completely different location, but I'm kind of replicating the same effect. And when you add those two clips together, it seems as if they're kind of, it seems as it's, you know, seamless. It's a seamless transition without actually adding any transitions. So what you want to do is you want to, you know, strategically place your camera. Um, you know, this could be whatever you guys want, obviously. But in this case, I just chose myself and I'm going to go and reach for the camera. If you want like a, a spinning transition, then you want to go ahead and grab your camera and kind of, uh, you know, obviously rotate the camera. But in this case, I'm just grabbing it, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it where I'm reaching it, so around here. So I'm going to cut this down here, and then I'm reaching for the camera, so I might actually cut it down a little bit more. So I'm playing the video here. I grab the camera. Uh, so right here, I'm actually cutting this the rest of this clip because we don't need that. So I'm going to get rid of that end clip. And then this is a separate video, a separate location. And I do the same thing as I did in the beginning of the video in the other clip. So I reach for the camera, as you can see. So what I'm going to do instead of obviously restarting the video again, like the other clip, all I'm doing is I'm just leaving to where I left off on the last clip. So in this case, right here. So I'm grabbing the camera. So once I go here, I'm cutting this piece. So now if I go back, it's going to look something like that which looks pretty seamless to me. It looks like I'm grabbing it. And that's how you kind of do this little cool transition effect. So now if we go back and we play it from the beginning with all of the effects, some music, of course, and the song is called Kevin McLeod by Sneaky Snitch. A link to that is in the description, along with the VHS uh, overlay. Uh, so shout outs to the person, uh, and I'll have that in the description, like I said. So now this is what it's gonna look like. So if I push play, it looks super seamless, and this is what you guys could do for maybe pranks or vlogs, specifically vlogs. I think that would look pretty cool, or just cinematic short films, whatever it is, guys. This effect looks pretty cool, and you, like I said, you don't need the built-in transitions because those could look sometimes really corny, and it might look a little bit weird. Uh, also, if you add other plugins as well, that can just be a pain just to do transitions. So something when you're doing it you know, on camera, um, and camera movements could actually make your videos a lot more interesting. This is just really simple and really short, something that anyone can do. It's just a matter of creatively filming your videos and how you shoot. The rest is in post. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, guys. Like I said, I really want to make quality videos for you guys. And if you guys found this video to be quality worthy, leave a like. If not, tell me why in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.